Welcome to Specific Love. Today, we're gonna make a longboard. Let's begin. I first did some checking on the lengths of many longboards, and they're built in several sizes. So I decided to build this version to about 40 inches long. I also wanted this board to be a low rider to offset the thickness of the PVC pipe and to give it a little more stability. So I did a little measuring and testing and decided to pick up some one inch scheduled 40 PVC pipe. For the main part of the board, I measured out 22 inches and made a mark. Using PVC cutters, I cut out six of these pipes. The body of this board is going to be almost 10 inches wide. I next cut out four more pieces of pipe at one and a half inches long. Using these pipes, I connected up eight 45 degree elbows. They need to be facing in opposite directions for this setup to work. I then connected these fittings to the inner pipes of the board. Both ends need to be facing in the same direction and level with each other. I found that by laying them on a flat surface and giving them a quick smack can help. I then cut out four more pieces at five inches long. These will be where the trucks are connected. I then added a 90 degree elbow to each of these pipes before adding them to the 45 degree elbows. Once everything is connected, they should look something like this. Next I added 45 degree elbows to the ends of the other four pipes. These elbows help space out the pipes to add width and to prevent my feet from slipping off the edges. At this point, I laid all of the pipes in order to make sure they lined up. There are a few small size differences, but that is to be expected when working with this material. For this build, I purchased a trucks and wheel set from Amazon. They were only $25. I'm sure there are much better sets available, but these work great for my purposes. I went with the orange wheels to give a little color to the white pipes. While I was checking the pipes, I decided to test out the alignment of the trucks at the same time. Here you can get an idea of how low the main pipes will be in relation to the center line of the trucks. Now that everything was in line, I took a marker and made a line across all the connecting joints. This will allow me to reconnect everything correctly. I then took the center pipes outside to be disassembled and glued together. The PVC cement adheres quickly, so I had less than five seconds to get each piece back together. Though it was challenging, I was able to fit all of it together in time. While the inner pipes needed time to dry, I used a couple of substitute pipes for the next setup. To help hold all six pipes together, I needed to install two threaded metal rods through all of them. The rods needed to be a little wider than the board, so I cut both of them to 11 inches. I also needed four more additional rods for some extra support on the inner pipes, so I cut them to four and a half inches long. I then used a grinding wheel to remove any burrs from each rod and make them easier to add the nuts. I will be using locking nuts to prevent any of the rods from coming loose. I then laid the rod across the pipes and used a marker to line the location of where I needed to drill. I also marked where each of the pipes touched to know the location of each hole. I first made a pilot hole with a small bit and then used a quarter inch bit to make each hole. It was time to test fit the 11 inch rods and all the pipes went together perfectly. So I proceeded to mark the other side of the pipes and drill them as well. I then added the second rod and all of the pipes fit nice and level. The next step was to reinforce the inner pipes on both sides of the truck mounting location. So I used the smaller rods to make the needed marks and proceeded to drill the holes. The holes ended up being slightly offset so I had to slightly widen the holes for the rods to fit. I then added locking nuts to all of the threaded rods for support. It was now time to find the location for the trucks. I lined everything up and made a mark for each of the holes. I continued to use a quarter inch bit for these holes. This could be considered a little oversized for the screws, but it worked well for this build. The screws that came with the trucks were not long enough, so I had to pick up some two inch machine screws to make this work. Test fitting the trucks and new screws showed almost a perfect fit. I then installed the bearings and wheels onto the trucks and was ready to take it for a test ride. Okay, it's finally complete. This will be the first time I'm getting on this. Let's see if it'll even work. That was awesome. It went pretty straight considering all the tolerances on this are not exactly perfect. But overall, this thing, this is awesome. 
The longboard did great, but I was a little concerned at how slippery the pipes would be if they got wet. So I purchased some grip tape and attached it to the top of the pipes. It looked good, but I wanted the pipe to stand out. So I cut the grip tape between each pipe and rolled it around the sides. The final measurements were 41 inches long and nine and three quarters inches wide. Overall, I'm super excited with this build. It came out better than I expected. Uh, the only thing I'd probably upgrade, if you might be able to tell, there's just some slight warping of the outer pipes here. But all I'd do is probably add an additional rod through the center here. Overall though, it's still in great shape. I rode this thing for a while and I definitely plan in the future to give it some more use. And this is one of those items I'm definitely keeping in my setup so everybody can see whenever they come over. Well, I hope you enjoyed this build and I hope you can have fun building.